Hey everyone, it's James at dreamweavertutorial.co.uk and uh, today we're going to be making this floating sidebar social network widget. I've completely designed the background and the front, it's got rollover effects and uh, the screen capture software doesn't really do this justice but trust me it floats smoothly down, it scrolls and follows down the screen with a nice little easing effect as well to it. Okay, so I'll put a link in the below bar if you're watching on YouTube or below the video you'll find the uh, download Dreamweaver exercise files button click on that extract it to your desktop in the sidebar folder there will be an empty CSS folder there will be a images folder with all of these images including the background and the rollover effects that we'll put into place in Dreamweaver you'll get a scripts folder and that will contain the sidebar scripts which makes the whole effect work where it scrolls down the screen with the easing effect and you'll also get some Lauren Ipsen text which you can use to populate the page when we've made it. And to recreate the site in Dreamweaver, go to Site, New Site, click on the Advanced tab. Um, it's called. It's in a folder called Sidebar. I'm going to call the site Sidebar. Then browse for the Sidebar folder and uh, press Select. If it doesn't show up, then you can just type it in. Mine's on my desktop, so it's desktop slash Sidebar and then tell the Dreamweaver where the default images folder is as well and that will be desktop sidebar images okay once you've done that press OK and the site should be recreated and now if you've done everything right you'll have the empty CSS folder all of the images and rollover effects and the script and the lorem it's and text just sitting there in the files panel now the JavaScript file that I'm using to create the effects, I can't take credit for. That All the credit for that goes to jtricks.com and I'll put a link in the sidebar, go and visit the site and make a donation if you want to. Now I'm just going to create a new HTML, so file new, blank HTML and we're going to split the body tags and we're going to start creating um, our effects now. Okay, so we're going to create a div which encompasses all of the rollover effects. So I'm going to type in div ID and I'm going to give it an ID of sidebar. And we're going to close that tag off with a comment just so we know where it ends. Alright, now to save time I'm going to create a div with an ID but I'm not going to put any ID in there. So I'm not going to put any name and we're going to copy that div uh, three more times and then we're going to populate it once we've done that. So um, I've created the empty shell for the div and I'm going to copy and paste it three more times into the sidebar div. Now each of these divs inside the sidebar div are going to contain rollover effects. Each one is going to be a social networking icon and we're going to place a link to any of our pages that we set up the hooks for. Now um, the first one is going to be RSS, it's going to be for my RSS feed. So I'm going to type in RSS under the ID. The second one is going to be YouTube for my YouTube channel. And uh, The next one is going to be Twitter and then the last one um, the images are called email, but I'm going to make this my contact form. It's going to be a link that will go straight to my contact form so people can send me messages there. Okay, once you've done that, click refresh or click in design view. You'll see that the flat packed divs appear there in blue. Now we need to set up all of our CSS, so we're going to save some time here. We're going to click inside the sidebar div, then click on new CSS rule. We're going to define a new style sheet and press OK. Uh, then I'm going to save the file, I'm going to call mine sidebar in keeping with tradition and I'm going to save it into the empty CSS folder you should have got with the download then I'll press OK. Now I'm going to set up all the hooks for the rest of them now so I'm going to click inside the RSS div and create new CSS rule, press OK then inside the YouTube one, the Twitter and contact and we're just going to keep setting up the hooks so we've got all the blank hooks set up for um, the CSS in the sidebar CSS file now once you've finished setting up the CSS rules, we'll go into the CSS document and hand code and we're going to put in the background image, the blue background image, which is going to be the background for all of the rollover buttons that we're going to create. So if you go into the sidebar CSS now, and what you're going to see there is just loads of empty CSS rules tags. So we're just going to split those up a little bit just to give ourselves a little bit of room to work with and we're going to target the sidebar div which contains all of the other divs and we're going to set a background image so I'm going to type in background dash image colon and then we're going to browse for the file in the images folder now it's called blue background 
So click on the images folder, select blue background. And an image should show in the image preview. It's a transparent 32 um, PNG. So uh, put a semicolon on the end and you'll see that it repeats all al along the X axis. We're going to take that repeat out. So we're going to type in background dash repeat colon no dash repeat semicolon. Now if you click refresh or click in design view you'll see it reduces down to one occurrence of that image. Now this is going to contain all of the other divs and to position it correctly we're going to have to position the rest of the divs absolutely. So we're going to make the sidebar position relative. So position colon relative semicolon. Now we're going to set the height and the width. The height of the image is 229 pixels and the width of the image is 94 pixels and that includes a nice little drop shadow as well. So click refresh you'll see that the whole image appears there in design view and there's a little rectangular box up there that's the rest of our divs and that's our default width and height. So um, let's preview that in the browser to see what we're working with. I'm going to call it sidebar.html and I think this background image is pretty cool. It's got a nice little gradient which slopes off down and um, it's all it's got this like hairy effect all around the edges. Kind of reminds me of the cookie monster from Sesame Street. Okay, now it's time to put in our rollover effects for our social networking icon. So I'm going to click inside the RSS div in between the uh, angle brackets. And I'm going to click insert image objects rollover image and we're going to call it RSS because it's the first one I'm putting in is going to be the RSS feed and I'm going to browse for the image and we're looking for the back so this one's going to be um, RSS back so they're all the grey images they're going to go in first and then the front images we'll put in for the rollover effect so once you've got that one in we'll browse for the front image so it's RSS front so when you roll over it will change colour from grayscale to the colour OK, and the alternative text, I'm going to type in my RSS feed. And then I'm going to put in a URL which goes directly to my RSS feed. So when you click on a link, it will go straight there. OK, so when you've done that, press OK and then press refresh. And you'll see that the image is inside of the background, the sidebar div, but it needs positioning. You'll also notice inside the RSS div, there's now some JavaScript been placed and some more JavaScript um, inside the head of the document. OK, so let's go into our CSS now and we're going to adjust the position of that RSS image. OK, now we're going to need to set all of these divs with the images into a position of absolute. First, we're going to adjust the height. So if you remember, the image was 48 pixels high and it was 48 pixels wide. So I'm going to adjust that now. And you'll notice that the div collapses to the settings that I've just placed inside the design view there. OK, I'm going to give it that positioning attribute now. So I'm going to type in position colon and absolute. So it's positioned absolutely from the top of the sidebar div there. And uh, then all we have to do is bring it down. Notice that the div has changed now to an absolutely positioned div. OK, so I'm going to set a top position of 20 pixels. So I'm going to push away 20 pixels from the top. And we're going to set a left attribute, left colon and 20 pixels from the left. And it will push out from the left as well. OK, so let's preview that in Firefox. OK, so here's the first rollover. And if you click on it, it should go to my RSS feed. And there you go. OK, so that's all working fine. We just have to position all of the other images now into their places. And we'll do the same thing there. So we'll go back into the source code. And we're going to insert an image for our YouTube social network. So in the middle of YouTube, insert image objects, rollover image. We're going to call that YouTube and we're going to browse for the back image. That will be the grayscale image. And click on that and we're also going to click for the rollover effect image and that will be YouTube front. OK, so the alternative text, I'm going to put my YouTube channel just in case the image fails to load up. And when clicked, I'm going to put in my channel address on YouTube. So youtube.com slash Dreamweaver Tutorial.